What's going on guys, Kichi1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today what I want to do is a bit of a discussion video. Today we're not going to do a glitch or a tutorial or anything like that, but today what I want to do is talk about the future of the Grand Theft Auto series and whether or not Rockstar can actually ever top Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay now before you go running to the comment section ready to type, oh Grand Theft Auto 5 just came out, what are you doing already talking about GTA 6, can't you be satisfied with what you have? Well okay, I know it's really early to be talking about this, however it's actually a question that's been on my mind for uh, the last few months and really even before Grand Theft Auto 5 came out I was thinking like wow this game just looks so incredible How is Rockstar actually ever going to be able to top a game uh, to this caliber? It's, it's really incredible So that's what I want to talk about today And this is a topic that I'm especially interested in hearing what you guys think about this I really want to know your opinions on this so make sure at the end of the video you tell me below So uh, where do I even start on this? I guess I should just start by saying that when you make something no matter how good it is If you plan on making a second one of that thing you want the second second one to be better, whether that's a movie, a game, uh, a work of art, anything. You always want your next one to be better than the first, or at least equally good. Uh, you don't want it to be not as good, you want it to either live up to the expectations or outlive them and surpass them and uh, have it be really good. And so far in the Grand Theft Auto series, that has happened with almost every game. If we go back to the beginning of Grand Theft Auto 1, that game was so, so basic and there was so much to be added that uh, when they went to Grand Theft Auto 2, even though the game wasn't that critically acclaimed or anything that great, uh, it still surpassed the first one. And then Grand Theft Auto 3 was leaps and bounds ahead of the first two, and then they move on to Vice City and San Andreas and all that stuff, and those were, you know, continually good games. And then, some people might like to argue that Grand Theft Auto 4 was a step backwards from San Andreas. However, in my opinion, the graphical updates on Grand Theft Auto 4 and the updates to the physics engine were just so incredible that it didn't matter that it wasn't quite as good as San Andreas. You know, it didn't matter to me that the map wasn't as big and that there weren't planes and things like that. Um, the graphics were just so improved, the physics engine was just like, it, it made it a whole new experience and it didn't really matter. So then with the upcoming release of Grand Theft Auto 5, Rockstar really left a lot of room for improvement in Grand Theft Auto 4. It was a great game, it was one of the highest scored games of uh, all time on Xbox and uh, PS3 I think. It was just all around a great game, but there were still a lot of things that they could improve upon, and that's what they did in Grand Theft Auto 5. However, it's important to note that it took them over five years to do this. Uh, each each installment of Grand Theft Auto has taken considerably longer than the previous game, and that's kind of where my concerns come into play. Grand Theft Auto 5, like I said, was in, de in development for years, and it took it five years to even come out after Grand Theft Auto 4 until we had it in our hands. So, I think what I'm asking you guys, and really what I want to bring to attention here, is that Grand Theft Auto 5 is close to perfect. Now, I know there are obviously things that could be improved on. I know it's not perfect. It's, it's pretty close to it, as far as video games go. But, uh... The Rockstar is doing something really interesting in that they are giving themselves a huge challenge by making these continually good games they, they are putting so much more work on their shoulders that, you know, their next game has to be equally good, if not better. Because, like I said at the beginning of the video, nobody wants to degrade in quality. They always want to surpass expectations. So, um, what Rockstar has done in themselves is really, uh, they've kind of put themselves in a bit of a pickle because they just keep, like I said, creating these games that are surpassing people's expectations and they're really working out some really amazing things. So, what do we have in store for us for Grand Theft Auto 6? I mean, like I said, GTA 5 came out five years after GTA 4, and uh, how long are we going to have to wait for GTA 6 is I guess really what I'm asking, and how good can it possibly be? Uh, obviously, we're going to be expecting a lot out of the map now, since the map for GTA 5 was uh, just flat out incredible in my opinion, from the countryside to the mountains to the city to the attention to detail. Uh, the map alone in GTA 6 is going to have to be pretty mind-blowing to be better than GTA 5, and things like graphics and cars and all the little extra details to be added in. I guess I'm really just wondering, is it possible for Grand Theft Auto 6 to be better than GTA 5, and if it is, how long are we going to have to wait for that? Um, I, I imagine this is at least another five-year project, at least, if not longer, um, because, you know, this is going to be on next-gen systems that support better graphics, and if you have better graphics, then that means you need to make the better graphics yourself. You can't just throw in the old character models and the old texture details. You need to create new things supported by the 1080p that really take advantage of it, and that's that's only one of many, many things that they would have to upgrade and, uh, you know, put detail into. So, um, I, I'm sorry if this is really a rambling video, 
But like I said, this has been a question that's been on my mind for quite a few months now, and I just really want to see what you guys think, and uh, that's really what the question comes down to. The title of the video, Will Rockstar Ever Be Able to Make a Game That Surpasses GTA V? Or, I should say, will they be able to make another Grand Theft Auto that surpasses it? Uh, I'm sure it's possible, but can it be done in a timely manner? I'm not really sure. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think on this one. So, uh, with that, please tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm especially interested. And with that, please stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto V, and I also plan to start my first Watch Dogs video soon. If you're not into Watch Dogs or you don't know what it is, uh, I'm going to explain it in an upcoming video and you may very well be into it because it's a bit like Grand Theft Auto and it's got a really cool concept to it. So with that guys, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time.